Hey guys, what is going on? It is Josh Norton 22 and I'm going to be opening up 30 Pro Packs today. And uh, we'll see if we can get something good. One of these new cards, hopefully. Uh, right off the bat, we get a collectible. Two times DB of the year, Champ Bailey. So already off to a pretty good start. Um, I haven't really been playing Madden much lately. I've been working a lot. We're getting ready to go somewhere and uh, I've been working really hard and I worked like 17 hours yesterday so I'm taking a little bit of a break today um, probably had to go back in later on today too so I'm trying to get this video up as quick as I can before I had to go back to work or something but uh I think that's the uh, road to the playoffs Carson Palmer that used to go for a little bit I don't know if it goes for anything now but yeah I'm trying to I'm trying to still put out videos as much as I can so why I did this video. I needed to do a video and figured I'd go ahead and open up some packs. I hadn't opened up packs in a while since I've been working so much lately. And I hadn't really got a chance to So try to get any of this new content. So I'm going to try to see if I can get it. Got 30 packs. Um, pro packs. I, I wish I could open up like a legend bundle or something. And make, probably make for a better video than pro packs. Because uh, mainly what you get in pro packs is just a bunch of golds and silvers. But... Uh, look for a video probably either tomorrow or or Friday. That's probably when my next video will be for you guys uh, waiting on the videos and stuff. I'm going to try to do uh, probably another pack opening this weekend. Might do another head-to-head. -head. Since you guys seem to like the head-to-head uh, -head gameplay, I might try to do another one of those for you guys. And then... Then probably I'll upload another video Saturday when the uh, when they release like the or well Sunday when they release the Madden 25 uh, all team cards or whatever. So I can try to get those Thurman Thomas Legend rookie. I really like that uh, Randy Moss though. I really wish I could get that. I'd trade him. Uh, that I would I would probably keep it. I don't think I'd sell it right away. I'd probably uh, get rid of my Vikings Moss that I have and keep the uh, Patriots Randy Moss. So uh, definitely if uh, in my next team update that would be on there. I got another team update coming pretty soon. Got a few new cards. Uh, one that I really like. I know a lot of people are going to ask if I could, uh, if they could see some gameplay of it. So I think you guys will really like that. Uh, been working some of these positional collections, but they took the team of the week cards out. So I've uh, been working so much lately I hadn't really got around to doing all the ones I wanted to do. The only ones left I wanted to do were um, strong safety, tight end, and then some of the O-line. But I probably won't get to do those now. I really, I wanted to do the left end and defensive tackle, but the cards in there were just insane with the uh, the way they are. But I was, I'm still out here looking for snops as much as I can. I've been trying to, I've gotten a few. I basically like snopped the whole wide receiver collection. It cost me like 100k to do the wide receiver collection, um, which. I was going to do it in a later video, kind of spoiled that video, but uh, it's whatever. I, I like snap the Andre Johnson and everything for that collection. So you guys should, uh, if you're trying to do those positional collections, I wouldn't just buy the first card I saw. I'd wait a little bit, see if you can get it for cheaper. Uh, it's kind of hard, especially when it comes down to like the last card you need, but I was still trying to snap even the last card I needed. I was trying to snap it for so long. I was trying to snap like long pass Larry Fitzgerald, and I needed short pass. I didn't even need long pass. So, <laughs> I was, uh, I don't know why I wrote it down wrong. Oh, there we go. 97, Troy Polamalu. Ron needed one of these, but it's a uh, Man D's own D that he needed. But this goes for about 70K, so some pretty good uh, money to be made off that. So, got a pretty good card right there. I really like the, uh, that new Troy Polamalu too, but if my safety wasn't Ronnie Lott and uh, Sean Taylor, I'd probably try to get him for my team. But I already have really good safeties, really good hip power, um, really good tackle and safeties. They're fast too, so I don't really have to worry about safeties um, that much. I really want that new Brian Dawkins, so if I, that was one safety I did want, it would be that one. Auto Graham, five times MVP collectible. Might see what I can do with that. Probably doesn't go for anything because uh, the rookie cards are what goes for a lot. I really wish they would, uh, would put a really good uh, card up there to do the Ultimate Legend collection with. I would really like to see that. They've been putting, like, I mean, not bad cards, but they haven't been putting really good cards up there. 
Uh, most of the cards that they put up there, they end up going for like 70k like a week later. So it's not like it's still really. I mean, that's still really good, but it's not. I mean, it's not like it's it's really helping anyone to do those collections. So I don't even bother doing those, especially because some of the cards that you have to get cost a lot. There we go. We got a mutt or not a mutt draft collectible, but a NFL draft collectible to use on draft night. So we'll see if uh if that comes true. Aaron Donald to the Saints. Last year's uh draft collectibles are really good. Uh, they were you got like a million coins, like you got up to five hundred K for like if you had the card to win the top ten, you got like five hundred K if you had that card. I really liked last year's promo for the uh draft. It was probably the best promo that Ultimate Team has ever done. Um it did ruin the auction block, I will say that, uh so hopefully they don't ruin the auction block this year because after that, well, I mean, it's pretty much already ruined this year from last year. People put cards up for like 2 million coins and there ain't really all that many people who have 2 million coins. So you have to look for like a special buyer, someone who really wants a card, who like basically every week buys cards as soon as they come out. So if you're not one of the first people to put it up, then it probably won't sell for like a million. But... A little bit more into these uh, packs. We've got some pretty good stuff, you know. Got that Troy Polamalu. Let me guys or let me know, guys, if you open up like a golden ticket and what you're gonna and what cards you're gonna make with it. I think I think that'd be pretty cool. I'm trying to see what uh, everyone's gonna make with their golden ticket. Uh, trying to like see before they come out. Uh, I know my friend Chase really wanted someone to make a Des Bryant, so kind of hope someone makes a Des Bryant for him. I don't really have any preferences as far as what card I would like to see. Probably. Uh, the only card I'd like to see is like a Julio card or something like that, which someone will probably do that. But if I don't, I mean, that's fine. It's getting to this point in Ultimate Team anyways where they're going to start coming out with like really overpowered cards. Like lately they've been coming out with cards that were over like 100 uh, hit power and stuff like that. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Um, I, I really don't think the boost should be over 100. I think like 100 should be the max. I really don't like the 104 uh, hit power and stuff like that. I mean, or 104 uh, hit power and stuff like that, yeah. I just, I really don't like that. That just, uh, that's too much. And, uh, we should definitely keep stuff under 100 on the, uh, speed and boost. Because I know what's going to happen. They're eventually going to come out with someone that has like 105 speed or something ridiculous like that. And he's just going to, he's just going to be disgusting. <laughs> Cause I thought I thought my cards were all fast, you know. I thought like 99 speed. I was like, yeah, that, that's pretty good. And then they tell me that the boost don't top out at 100 this year. Uh, that's what I liked about last year. I, I mean, it wouldn't bother me so much this year if uh, the boost, if there were more boosts. Like last year, my team, like I had a really good team, and my team had like plus like 15 to like speed and stuff like that. So. uh I mean that that's what I was looking for. that's what I would look for like if there was more boost then I would say, I, I kind of understand it being all the way but if there's not that many boosts and then like that one person who uh, has every card and like he has a uh, he has like plus twenty to boost so all his cards are like a hundred and five speed it's it's going to be really unfair so I really don't like that I did this year unless you start coming out with more boosted cards like. Every probably pretty much from here, every on, every card from here on out is probably gonna have like a, a boost on it. But um, last year, like one like certain cards would have like plus ten to like speed or plus five to speed or something like that. So if you play, if you guys played last year, you probably know what I'm talking about. So you know we kind of hit a cold streak on these packs. Hadn't really opened up anything lately. Just a couple of, like Tavon Austin uh, rookie combine invitation collectibles or whatever that is. It's the color of a rookie, so not sure. But uh, they'll probably do keeper cards this year too. Once uh, the draft happens, and uh, you guys will, should have fun with that with the future star cards and all that. I really want one of those future star cards. I hope I can get one this year. I know last year I opened like every single future star card, and I ended up selling them for like 900k a piece. So that was really nice. Uh, that get, really gave me a, a big coin boost at the end of the year. At one point last year, I had like 9 million coins. I was just dominating last year. And then um, 
I basically spent it all when uh, the golden ticket cards got released, trying to trying to get all the golden ticket cards. Uh, basically, spent all my coins. Like I, I opened up like five million in packs one day and didn't get a single golden ticket card. I mean that, that's insane. Like you think if you open up that many, you should you should at least get something. But I don't know. It was really hard. I was trying to get that Ronnie Lot last year and the uh, and the Patrick Willis. Both were like four stars with like a hundred speed and stuff like that. So you know, I really wanted those last year, and that's why I ended up spending all my coins last year. Definitely going to control myself a little bit better this year. Not going to do that, so I can still make videos and uh, have some coins to do stuff with. I'm probably not even going to bother trying to... I'll probably open up some packs, but I'm not going to open up many. Probably like 15, 20 packs at the maximum for trying to get golden ticket cards. Probably not going to open up more than that. We're coming up on the end of this video. Got about uh, five packs left after this. Damian Williams, Titans player. I opened up one really, really good card, so... Uh, Hopefully we can open up another one for this. Got Austin Elusiveness. I guess I can uh, sell that. Let's see. You got Dion Jordan. Alright. On to the next pack. Got five packs left. Oh, I almost opened up my Elite pack there for a second. Uh, I've been playing a lot of NBA 2K14 lately. I got my My Player on there. I've been trying to do some like My Player uh, Blacktop and stuff like that. I was playing it all over the weekend. I hadn't really got to play it too much this week because, uh, like I was saying, with my work and stuff like that, I've been really busy. But I've been trying to play that and then, you know, do a little bit of Ultimate Team. Uh, but Ultimate Team, this part of the year is kind of boring until they release the golden ticket cards. Uh, i got to delete some cards in my reserves. Let's see. I'm going to delete all the contracts. I don't need contracts on this. Delete the uh, nine contracts that's over here. Yeah, let's see if we have any bronze cards to delete. I don't think I do, but we'll see. Nope. Let's go silver. Delete all these silver cards. About to free up a hundred of my space. I don't want to delete him though. Actually, I, it doesn't matter for deleting. I can't sell him. <laughs> I thought, I don't know, for a minute I, I thought I was on PS4. Alright, back to opening up packs. Got four more left. This should get us to the end of the video. Uh, I hate that about PS3 with the reserves, everything being a transfer. You can't do anything with it. Can't sell them. You can't, I mean, they're just useless, basically. basically discard for zero coins. Really no uh, purpose for them anymore. So. I really I like keeping my PS I like the idea to keep my PS3 though because I have season ticket on there and for some reason my or for whatever reason the season ticket doesn't transfer to uh, PS4 probably because they don't want you buying a bundle twice I guess that's why um, it would have been nice if it transferred though so I ain't got to open up packs on PS3 and then transfer my cards over it's just kind of a hassle but you know it doesn't really bother me too too bad. Alright, we're getting down to about two packs left, so we'll see if we can get anything good in these last two packs. Pretty tired today, too. Uh, I was up till like 10 o'clock last night. I had to be back at work at 8 o'clock this morning. Got a Cordell Patterson. Brandon Gibson, road to the playoffs. I really saved up this year for positional collections, too. And, um, they ended up Positional collections ended up being okay. Uh, I thought it would be something like 400 cards. I thought it was just going to be ridiculous to do, ridiculously hard to do, but it wasn't. It wasn't too bad. Most of them were pretty easy to do. I got pretty much, like I was saying, the ones done that I wanted to do. All right, so now we got to open up our two elite packs, and we'll end the video. If you guys get a chance, follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description below. All you got to do is click on it and then hit follow. Josh Norton 18 is my Twitter name, though, if you don't want to do that. There's a Larry Fitzgerald short pass. All right. I needed that for that collection that day. All right. Let's open up this one more time. See what we get. And we get a Reggie Bush short pass and speed run. So let's see if I can sell some of these, sell these cards that I got. Try to make some coins on PS3. But guys, uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, hit that like button if you want to. See if we can get like 300 likes or something like that. I'd really appreciate the likes. And guys, I thank you for watching my video, and until the next video, peace.